Hello, welcome back. In previous two tutorials, we covered percent of total and difference from total. And in this one, basically we will combine those two. So let's see how that works. If I go to sales in our setup section, in this comparison calculation, I have difference from total. I have also previously used percent of total and third option is basically percent difference from total. But before I use that function, let's click on this percent of total for sales. So in this case is 49% of this number here. And basically if I use percent difference from total, I will get the opposite. So let's see. And basically I get 50.83. If I click again on percent of total, you can notice that if we sum up basically those two numbers, we will get 100%. And in order to do that, let's add another sales column just to display that. I'm going to place it here. And here I'm going to use instead of none percent different from total. Okay, now we have two sales column. As you can see, this number and this number, it will give us 100%. This number and this number, again, it will give us 100%. So these calculations can be very useful in some situations. So for you, it's important to know how to apply them on your table. Also, let's do the same for order quantity. Instead of difference from total, let's click on percent from total. And again, let's add that column one more time. Order quantity. If I click on pencil icon, I'm going to use percent difference from total. And again, if we sum up those numbers, we will get 100%. Excellent. With this, I'm going to conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.